video, we will further explore the Tracker Capture app by registering a child and enrolling them into the immunization program. Now let's register a child into the immunization program. To start this process, select Register. First, I want to show you how to search for existing children who are already registered. When using tracker programs, we always emphasize searching for existing cases prior to registering new ones. If I were to type in a name of someone that already exists, for example, if we type in Tom as the first name and Waikiki as the last name, and then scroll down and click on Save and Continue, the system will first search the list of names already enrolled in the program and will come back with possible duplicates. If I had filled in all of the child's details and was sure this was a new child, I could click on Register New Person and the details that I had already filled in would be used to create the new child's record and I would be taken to that child's dashboard. This feature has been implemented to reduce the number of duplicate records in the system. In this case, there should only be one child registered that is tracked throughout all of their various interactions with different health programs in the system. For this example, we haven't entered all of the child's details, so once we have reviewed the list of possible duplicates and have confirmed that this child has not previously been enrolled into this program, we can click back and continue to enter the enrollment details. In order to show how this program works in a bit more detail, I'm going to change the date first seen to be six weeks back from the current date. I am also going to have the date of birth be the same date as the date first seen. This is in order to demonstrate how the immunization schedule has been implemented, and more generically, how tracker programs can be adapted to meet the needs of specific services. Let's fill in some of the other main attributes associated with the child. The first name, last name, gender, information about their mother or caregiver, birth weight, place of birth, and an image of the child. Once we have completed entering the enrollment details for the child, you have a few options at the bottom of the page to select. The Save and Continue button allows you to save the child's registration and open their record. The Save and Add New button allows you to save the current child and register another one without going to their record. This can be useful when you're registering multiple children at one time. The Print Form button allows you to print the registration details for the child. And the Cancel button allows you to cancel the registration without saving. We want to click on Save and Continue in order to register the child and view their record. When in a child's record, the main screen is called their dashboard. There are many sections in the dashboard that we will cover in the next video. Before we proceed, let's pause here. Please complete the associated activity and register your own child before continuing. Keep the child's dashboard open as we will be entering immunization data and describing available options in the next video.